This is absolutely crazy. We made almost 3 mil in free to play in under an hour. Is this the best free to play money maker? I think it just might be. Welcome back to episode 11 of my free to play locked level 3 skiller series. We only need two quests to go until we have completed every free to play quest that I can do. And those quests are Mistal and Mystery and Shield of Arav. I don't think I'm going to do those this video, but I guess we will see. And regarding our stats, we have a total level of 507 with a free total level of 499. So one more level and we'll be able to go up to the Emerald rank in the District 3 clan chat. So that's very exciting. Last video, we did a bunch of crafting ruby necklaces and a bunch of runecrafting. Someone pointed out that I could have been doing body tiaras as a runecrafting method, and that's probably a lot better. And I will have to try that out eventually, but definitely not in this video. However, we do need more cash on this account. We currently have 3.7 mil, which is pretty good. But when it comes time to train smithing, we are going to need a lot more money than that. So I think we're going to get level 75 crafting, maybe level 80 in this video. I'm not sure, but we're still going to be making ruby necklaces so that we make some decent money. And to get level 75 crafting, we're going to need to make 2,788 ruby necklaces, which should cost about 2.6 mil. Okay, everything's almost completely purchased. Let's go get to crafting, and I will see you guys at level 74 crafting. All right, here we go. Level 74 crafting. We can now craft dragonstone bracelets if we remember. That's pretty cool. We now have a free total level of 500, which means we get to go up a rank in the clan chat. I'm super excited about that. And it also means that we now have access to the free to play 500 total worlds, which is super cool. And as you guys can see, look at this 66 total players on the free to play 500 total worlds. That's crazy. And there we go. We're finally back at the Emerald rank after it was taken away from us right after we got it last time due to the ranks updating. The next unlockable rank is actually Diamond, and that's whenever we get to a total free-to-play level of 650. I also got a book of knowledge that we're going to be using on runecrafting. So there we go. There's another 750 runecrafting XP, and we only have 1,514 more ruby necklaces to make until we get to level 75 crafting. And 75 crafting. If we remember, we can craft red dragon hide chaps, which is actually pretty cool. And we'd also be able to make magic birdhouses. Too bad that'll never happen. So let's go get these sold, see how much money we made. So it has been a few days since I bought those materials. I've been super busy in real life. So hopefully the price did not change too much and I don't actually end up losing money. And while we wait for these to sell, let's figure out what skill we're going to train next. We haven't touched cooking or fire making or wood cutting in a while. So I think the skill we're going to train now is cooking. We're still going to be making wines for cooking XP. And because we're level 60 cooking, the chances of us successfully making a wine is 90.6%. And we really want that to get up to a 100% chance. That way I stop making bad wine. And for that to happen, I need to be level 68 cooking. And to get to level 68 cooking, we need a total of 329,000 XP, which means that we're going to have to successfully make 1,650 wines. And the ruby necklaces have finally sold for a total of 3,168,000 GP, which means that we made a 575,000 GP profit. I made more money than I thought I would, which works out really nicely. And we now have almost a 4.3 million coin cash stack. But anyway, let's start cooking. In the bank, I stand and grind. XP, it's my kind of grind. Sipping wines while I hustle and flow. Thanks, my spot bills, bills, money stacked like I'm building a tower. Counting bills every single hour, grinding hard, no time for sleep. Alrighty, we are coming up on 1,000 jugs of wine. I accidentally got level 61 cooking. Uh, I got my timing messed up, and a smaller batch went through. But anyway, we have 1,008 jugs of wine now and 310 jugs of bad wine. Let's see how much bad wine we end up making and let's see what level we get when these go through. Just about 175,000 XP and we are now level 65 cooking. And if we remember, we could make pineapple pizza. We're actually pretty close to level 66 as well. We ended up making about 140 bad jugs of wine. So I'm going to make 800 more wines and hopefully that will be just enough to get to level 68. So I'll see you guys then. And there are the last two jugs of unfermented wine to get to 800 unfermented wine. 
the 160k xp very very nice and if we remember we can now make baked potatoes with tuna and sweet corn and cook sunlight antelopes never heard of those but regardless we're level 68 cooking which means that we no longer make bad wines super excited about that i think what we're gonna do now is keep training cooking until level 75 so let me see how much that is here so according to the calculator if we don't make any bad wines which we shouldn't anymore at level 68 cooking we need to make 2811 jugs of wine to get to level 75 cooking so i guess we'll get started doing that not sure how long that's gonna take it shouldn't take too too long so yeah, I'll see you guys at the next batch of unfermented wine. There's all kinds of other wines. Jug of wine. We got all different kinds, and that's our zero. And about an hour later, here we are. 2,811 jugs of wine. We should get a pretty hefty XP drop from this. Let's see what we get and 562k and 75 cooking what the hell is even that we now have two level 75 stats i'm not 100 percent sure what i want to train next i think it's going to be wood cutting we haven't done that in quite a while but i am going to get to that tomorrow it is 3 a.m and i'm tired tomorrow and here we go level 61 wood cutting and if we remember we can now use a dragon axe that is one of the biggest downfalls of free to play woodcutting is the fact that you're stuck with this tier 40 rune axe we also got a beginner clue nest i'm not going to do that right now though even though i probably should because there's not too many people here woodcutting and they don't really attack the dark wizards too often and if i lose aggro in this spot I get demolished and it's super, super annoying. So I'm just going to hold on to it for now. And another quick update, it's been almost 40 minutes and there has only been one woodcutting event and it was the roots about two minutes in to me woodcutting. And free to play, you get like no events. It's really unfortunate. I really, really regret not grinding woodcutting when forestry came out because in the free to play world, it was insane. I really wish I took more advantage of it. However, we're only going to be here until roughly level 70. And then I think I'm going to hop over to Varrock behind the castle and chop some of those yew trees because I passed it in a previous video and it was crazy there. There were so many people, which means that there's probably so many more events, but it's not going to be worth it at level 61. So we're definitely going to be woodcutting here until at least level 70. Finally got another woodcutting event. Got lucky that these rotting leaves were number two and three, and they're right next to the struggling sapling. Decided to reset my XP an hour just to see how much I get, and doing this ended up being 170,000 XP an hour, just spamming those leaves and using it on the sapling. Absolutely insane XP. Hopefully we get more of those events, because that XP is super, super helpful, and it also gets me a good amount of bark as well. And here we go, nice milestone here, level 65 woodcutting. Would be nice to be able to chop these mushrooms, they're really good XP, but as we all know, I am free to play. I'm sorry this video has taken so long to come out. My real life has actually been very, very busy since the release of the last free to play skiller video. But according to my video statistics, we're all adults here, so I'm sure you guys know where I'm coming from. But yeah, I know it's been like almost a month since my last skiller video. I have been playing, it just hasn't been as much, and I hope you forgive me, but I am back on the grind, I am home, and I am able to play a lot more now. So I just thought I owed you guys an update. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I just brought two of my alt accounts to attack these dark wizards indefinitely. Now I don't have to worry about getting attacked by them if I leave the area and get aggro again. So once we get level 69 woodcutting, I'm actually going to go do this beginner clue scroll because I don't even want to know how many clue scrolls I missed out on because I didn't want to have to lose aggro again. Also, now that I'm doing this, I could bank my willow logs. I think I'm gonna start doing that now because I just realized that they go for 68 GP each. Now that might not seem like a lot, but that's about 1.5 thousand coins per inventory. And I've been dropping a ton of logs here. So I easily could have probably made at least 500K minimum with the amount of time that I've spent here dropping willow logs. But hey, you live and you learn, right? Come to think of it, I could have also just been burning my logs on the Forester's Campfire, Bonfire style like in RuneScape 3, and I haven't been doing that either. So yeah, could have been getting a lot of fire making XP as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So we're starting out with 1,553 willow logs. So let's see how many willow logs we end up banking, 
by the time we get to level 70. And there we go, level 69 woodcutting. I think that 69 is overrated and it sucks. Let's go throw these logs in the bank. Let's get this clue scroll done. All right, we got another casket. I didn't really show this in my other videos, but I've been saving up my clue caskets. I wanted to do a bigger opening. And by bigger opening, I mean five beginner caskets. So now that we got our five, let's see what loot we get. Hopefully we get something new. 11 shrimp is a no-go. Okay, that's a little better. Let's see how much these are worth. Okay, so 2K from this one. And it's also our ninth beginner treasure trail completion. But this one is our 10th beginner clue scroll right here. And we got an oak longbow worth 47 GP. Two more to go. We got an earth staff. And we got another earth staff with 14 iron arrows and a blue wizard robe. Not the best loot, but hey, we now have 12 beginner clue scrolls completed. But anyway, let's get back to woodcutting. It honestly feels like I have been here for ages, but it's... it's we finally got level 70 woodcutting. No unlocks level 70, but I'm going to call it quits at the willow logs for now. And I'm going to head over to the yew trees behind the Vera castle. We'll check out what the XP is like there. And if it's better than it is here, which I think it probably will be because I think it's way more populated, which means more forestry events, which means better XP. Then we would just hang out at the yew trees until level 75. I'm just going to wrap up this inventory and I'll see you there. Oh, and by the way, we managed to chop a total of about a thousand willow logs, which is pretty cool because that's another 100k to the cash stack. All right, let's get the first look of what it looks like here in World 1 at 1130 at night. And there are 18 people chopping this yew tree. So that means I'm going to get the invisible plus 10 woodcutting boost, which means that I'm technically going to be chopping yew trees with level 80 woodcutting, which is super, super nice. So hopefully the XP is not too bad. I was getting about 40 to 45,000 XP an hour at the willow trees simply because it was mainly just the XP from logs because you would only get one forestry event there like every hour, hour and 20 minutes sometimes. I remember late at night when there was less people chopping, it almost took two hours for a forestry event and half the people in free to play didn't even know what it was or how to do it and they just ignored it. So we failed the forestry event and we didn't even get the bonus XP. So. Hopefully that's not the case here, and uh, yeah, we already got three logs, so it's looking good so far. Another positive that I didn't even think about at U-Trees was how much longer you can AFK. Once you start chopping a U-Tree, it takes 1 minute 54 seconds, so basically 2 minutes for this tree to deplete. They also only take 1 minute to respawn, so these two trees are always going to be an option to cut, and I only have to click every minute and a half to 2 minutes as opposed to every 30 seconds with the willow trees. Also, each inventory of U logs is 5.7k, so that's not bad either. Apparently, they're doing a drop party over here. Decided I'd tag along and see if we get anything. What I'm going to do is actually mark tiles that I think could possibly have items on them so that I know where to spam. All right, so I'm going to... Oh. And I... Oh. Not mine. Let's start spamming in the spots that I think they could be. Got a rune simi. Just missed the rune full helm. Missed the plate legs. Missed those plate legs. Okay, so this guy isn't dropping as often as I thought he was. Missed the full helm. Missed the other full helm. This is fantastic. Missed another one. And another one. Got the rune scimitar, got the other rune scimitar. Missed the rune plate legs. Missed the rune 2H. Missed something else over there. And he's coming back down, it seems, but I don't think... No! I got the rune plate legs, finally. Okay. Got another pair. Sick, sick. Guess we'll go for these. And we got another pair. Got a rune helmet. Let's go. Almost got another one. That was so close. And I think that's all she wrote, guys. Um, this guy's saying there's more. I don't know who he is. He wasn't the guy dropping stuff. All right. And just by chance, we got this drop party here, which made us a total of 168K. Not bad at all. I'm going to go throw this in the bank real quick, and then I'm going to get back to chopping yous and see if he walks past me again doing another drop party. 
I don't know what's going on here, but this person is inside of a tree. This young man actually grew inside a tree, with his body half outside and half inside the tree, and he's been trapped in the tree for 8,000 years. I have never seen this before. He dropped you logs, you can't even pick them up. So, I don't know. Is this something you could do in members? Then he hopped to the free world? I genuinely have never seen this before. So if you guys know, let me know. So I was running to the GE to bank my logs, and as I was running there, a pair of gold trimmed rune plate legs spawned right next to me, and I was able to pick them up really quickly. And then right after that, a rune kite shield G spawned, and I picked that up too. So I threw that stuff in the bank along with my logs, and let's see if the drop party's over, or if I can sag a couple more items. Oh, ah. Uh, oh, okay. I, I guess we're gonna go this way. Rune kite shield G, not bad, not bad at all. Almost got the other one. I don't know where this guy dropped anything because I'm late. I think I might have just caught the end of that drop party. I'm going to run back and see if he's doing a second inventory or if there's still more stuff to drop. Because so far, I'm making some pretty good money doing this. Gotta love free-to-play, man. I always see people doing drop parties around the Grand Exchange. Okay, so the guy just dropped some more stuff. I think he's still dropping. I should be tile marking, but uh, I didn't know when he started, so I just didn't. And I don't know if he's still going or... Oh! Oh my god. No way, dude. I'm so close to these. Got a black plate body G. Not bad. Just missed the wizard's hat. Come on. Black plate body. Yes, I got another one. Plate legs. No. Okay. So, so far we got two black plate body Gs, which is really cool. It used to be my favorite armor back in the day. Okay, missed that. Missed the rune full helm. Why is my character walking? Okay, still walking. I'm not even close. Let's move over here. Ignore that. Something might be right here, maybe? Come on, please don't be the end of the party. Oh, and my character walks over. Gotta love it. I don't know where to spam. Um, hopefully we can grab something else. The guy doing the drop party started walking around weirdly, so I just started randomly marking tiles where I think there might be loot. This video is getting a bit long, so I'm not going to show all of it. If you guys want me to make a whole drop party video, I will. But in the interest of time, I'm just going to cut the clip now, fast forward all the way to the end, and then we'll see how much loot we got. Okay, so the drop party ended up turning into a fetch quest sort of deal for cash rewards. And uh, I'm going to try my hand at that, see how much we make doing that. Then we're going to add everything up. All right, now for real this time, I'm gonna fast forward to the end, show how much loot I got after this whole event is done. Okay, this is all of the loot that I got from the drop party. Absolutely insane. We ended up making a total of 2.8 mil. Oh my God, that's actually crazy. I had really good PID during this whole thing. Oh, and here are the willow logs, by the way, that I sold for 80 each. Figured I might as well show you before it's too late. And after selling absolutely everything, a lot of stuff I had to sell for significantly less than the GE says it's worth, we now have about 7.2 mil. Insane. By the way, guys, this is what it looks like doing a forestry event in free-to-play. It's just been me and these two other people this guy just joined. But there's eight people on this tree, ten on this tree, and four people doing the event. We could barely even make it to half health on this struggling sapling because nobody does anything. But we could have definitely got this event done and everyone could have got 2,500 extra XP. But instead, everyone just decides to stand around and do basically nothing. So is it worth being here at the U trees? The answer, I think, is no. I've only been here for three levels and I'm only getting about 32,000 XP as opposed to the 40 to 45,000 I was getting at the willow trees. It is more AFK though, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to stay here until at least level 75. But I think we're going to stick to Willows afterwards for further leveling. So we only need one more log to get level 75 woodcutting. There we go. If we remember, we can now chop magic trees. I never realized in the chat box that the magic logs are animated. I know they are on the ground. They didn't know that they were on the level up. But we finally got 75 woodcutting. I'm very excited to finally be done with woodcutting for a while. It was getting very, very boring. But we started out with 10,000 U logs. Which means that we chopped 2,207 U-Logs worth 465k. So we made 465k, which isn't terrible, but we also got 
13 beginner caskets that I did off camera. All of these are from Bird's Nest. So, uh, yeah, let's check the collection log real quick. And we currently have zero uniques with 12 beginner clue scrolls completed. Hopefully we can get at least something on this list. But only time will tell. Let's see what we get. Terrible. 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 Oh, we got the shoulder parrot. Very nice. Very nice. It's also worth 392k. That is not too bad. Let's see what else we get. Terrible. 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 And we got a Guthix ornament kit. Very cool. That's another unique down. These are only 3.3k. That's hilarious. Another terrible one. Absolutely terrible. Even more terrible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we got two uniques. We got the shoulder parrot and the Guthix ornament kit. And the rest of everything else was pretty much trash. Putting this stuff in the bank, I just realized I have 1.2 million GP worth of cut diamonds. I thought I sold those back whenever I crafted them. Guess not. Might as well sell the U-logs that I cut as well. And the diamonds and U-logs have sold. So our cash stack is now just about 9 mil. Super cool. We should be getting a 10 mil cash stack soon, but probably not because we're going to end up spending most of it on smithing. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys for watching this far, and I will see you in the next video.